The main thing that attracted me to working with Scottish Ballet is the flexibility that this company has in terms of artistic output and in terms of collaboration makes it a company that can have a very unique voice. To deliver that, I'll be working very hands-on in the studio, teaching class, taking rehearsals, and making sure that the standard of the dancing is the highest quality it can possibly be. Chris has an enormous amount of energy and a real appreciation of the artistic legacy that he's inheriting with the company. He's got a great sense of adventure and really hungry to go out and find new creative partners and collaborators and discover new choreographic voices. Scottish Ballet has a clear responsibility to be serving audiences and communities here in Scotland, but it's also really important that we're ambassadors for Scotland elsewhere in the UK and internationally. It's a huge responsibility, but a real gift to an artistic director who is excited about exploring new opportunities. I've worked really closely with Cindy on where I feel the company needs to be going. And the one key area that I think will be seen immediately is how broad the repertoire will become. I'm very keen to be fielding a real broad range of choreographers and other creative people, whether that's artists, composers, stage directors, that will really feed the company and, and enrich its repertoire. I'm especially looking forward to presenting, I guess what could be called now as contemporary classics, works like Glenn Taylor's Pierre Lunaire, and looking back also on the legacy of Peter Darrell, it seems a really good point which to revisit some of his work and rediscover um, the canon and legacy that he's left uh, with Scottish Ballet. It's a huge responsibility to have that in place and so one I'm, I'm really excited about exploring. I'm also looking to bring in some real new voices to the company. I'm excited by the work of Helen Pickett, an American choreographer. Um, her work is incredibly musical and has a beautiful contemporary twist to classical ballet. Um, James Cousins is a, um, a young choreographer that has recently won the inaugural New Adventures Choreographic Award, um, of which I've formed the judging panel. Um, and it's been wonderful to see his work develop over the last year, and I'm going to look forward to bringing him into this company to see how our dancers will inspire his creative process. I'm also very keen that the dancers discover their own choreographic voices and that we look nationwide to others that might want to collaborate with the company too. Under the directorship of Paul Tyers, the Royal Conservatory of Scotland's dance programme has strong links with Scottish Ballet. I'm looking to make those links even stronger and making sure that any collaborator that comes to the main company also gives the students of the Royal Conservatory of Scotland the same experience. One work that I've been very keen to bring to the repertoire, especially because it's a Scottish story, or a take on a Scottish story, the most obvious one would be La Feed. I'm really excited to say that we will be doing it in a new way, and we've been given permission from Matthew Bourne to perform his Highland Fling. It's a real coup for the company because um, we're going to be the first company that Matthew has allowed to perform a full-length work of his. Scottish Ballet has a reputation for trying new things and being adventurous. Um, but with Chris on board now and some of the fantastic ideas he's bringing to the company, we have the opportunity to take it to the next level, getting dance into new environments, different types of venues, and connecting to people in a very different way. I had an idea many years ago to produce a brand new work that could be built from the ground up using the full resources of a company and Scottish Ballet really provides the ideal foundations for that. I'll be working very closely with the Education Department as part of an outreach and research programme, bringing together stories and ideas from children and adults throughout Scotland that will feed directly into a new production of Hansel and Gretel. It's hugely exciting to be able to finally announce our plans for the next few years for Scottish Ballet. I hope that the audiences find them as engaging as we do.